So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on uh, this game, which is going to be Yosh versus Wizard. Yosh was playing under the handle Blast that's Sharp at the time, uh, and my Wizard again, Wizard, my younger brother, uh, playing under the name P O C squared, standing for Power of G squared. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, load up this replay and get right into the game. Uh, Yosh at this time was a Terran player, of course, uh, picked Terran, and Wizard was a picked Protoss player. It's also worth noting um, that, uh, if I remember right, uh, Yosh had been caught cheating in the uh, TSL Star League later on. Um, so, uh, one thing which I'm not able to determine or know about is uh, how far back uh, that goes or not, but I do think that Yosh at the time was a very great player. Uh, he won, um, again, the WCG 2001 qualifier for uh, the Canada which has that Yoshin info card right there, and had an extremely high APM. So his average APM of the replays I have is 203, which is exceptional for a foreigner player at this time period. Uh, Koreans were in the 200 to 300 range, but most foreigners had not actually broken that 200 APM mark. Uh, this particular game itself, though, uh, he's only playing with 161 APM, so a bit less than his average. Uh, and he is the uh, brown Terran here, playing under the handle Blast.Sharp. And as the purple Protoss is Wizard, uh, playing in this game with 132 APM, uh, under his average of 144 as well. It's likely due to the fact that it's an island map, and island maps uh, you have less to do and during the earlier points of the game, so if you're not somebody who spams a lot of pointless actions, you're not going to be able to keep that APM up as high as you might normally. Uh, with it being an island map, uh, that means that you then have a uh, first refinery first from the Terran player. There's no need to get a barracks right away. And to see what this island map looks like, I'll uh, bring up the entire thing right now. Uh, essentially, you have four bases, uh, one at each of the various corners, and a bunch of islands in between them that you can try to expand or fight over. Because of this, it tended to be a very poor map for Zerg. So it was relatively rare to see a Zerg player um, uh, play on this map or agree to play on this map because of the fact that you wouldn't be able to take an, an expansion very easily as them. Uh, you also have here um, Yosh going for a barracks uh, at the side here, which may seem a bit odd, but he has no intention of building Marines from it. He's just building at the side to act as a floating scouting vehicle. So once it's done, he's going to be able to scout right away to try to find out where his opponent is. So uh, for Wizard, uh, he's going for a Protoss Cybernetics Core, uh, so relatively standard uh, for himself as well. Um, and I assume once Yosh finishes the barracks, he will likely go for Stargates. No, Factory, sorry, you have to go Factory first, then Stargate, because uh, the Factory, I believe, was the requirement for the Stargate. <coughs> uh, so, relatively uh, short opening here while that goes ahead. Um, I, I don't know if he was cheating in this, I just know that uh, there were some rumors about that, and then I think also the fact that uh, if you go to Team Liquid, and you click on uh, Yosha's name from the voting results, uh, you can see there that he was caught cheating the poker strategy TSL in 2009. But he's also a very legitimate player by himself, very high APM, did win that uh, WCG 2001 uh, land qualifier for Canada, sorry, WCG Canada 2001 qualifier. Um, and was always a dangerous opponent to play against where most of the top players generally split games or do worse against them. So you were always afraid to play uh, a game against Yosh. Uh, so Terran Starport going up uh, for Yosh. Uh, with Wizard going actually for a city of Dune right now, along with his robotics facility building out a um, shuttle. So the Citadel is a kind of a unique choice here. I don't know quite what he's going to go with that just yet. And I've followed up an observatory, of course. So double starport for you, uh, Yosh. 
both built in the corner here to make it harder for Wizard to detect it. As if Wizard was flying across from the right hand side that his barracks is spotted. Um, he of course would have to fly further out to be able to see those starports. So we have up here um, relatively standard stuff. It's an island map, so there's not many opportunities for early aggression, but Wizard's uh, shuttle here that he's used to scout with will spot Yosha's base. Uh, he won't see the starports because you notice he hasn't flown all the way in because he's just flying with the main part of it. So Yosha's uh, positioning of the starports being very crucial right now and catching the shuttle now off guard with these wraiths now able to try to destroy it out of the sky. And it looks like the shuttle will fall. So that's going to help uh, keep Yosh in air superiority and prevent Wizard from really expanding or doing much outside of his island for the time being. An observer going kind of an odd route, uh, going up and then down, trying to avoid any type of snipe as the... Um, he did see that there was a comm set, so he might have been worried that Yosh might try to pick it off. And it looks like Yosh has decided that having, um, actually just, he lifted it off to build a control tower, probably a misclick in terms of where that uh, control tower was added. And he's going for an expansion, so he's just going to build that care and command center, able to expand without having to rely on a dropship or having to raise resources on a dropship. Uh, meanwhile, he is going to use his race, they already have three kills there, and he's picking up some uh, probe kills here very quickly. Uh, not much wizard can really do against this. He doesn't have any type of anti-air force uh, built up yet. He does have Dark Templars, but remember that dropship was pilked off before, and therefore these Dark Templars are pretty much useless at the moment. So uh, just picking up as many probes as he can. Uh, he doesn't want to have to direct. Uh, he doesn't want to have to fight this dragoon directly, as the dragoon actually is quite effective against these wraiths, as they don't have quite the air-to-ground attack and are quite fragile. So he was just trying to do as much harassment, kill a few probes, and then get out of there. It looks like his command center is about to be completed. He is building a missile turn because he did likely notice there's that the ability to build ETs, he did see that Templar archives. And since everybody can see the map, I'll go ahead and put it back onto uh, the player vision to see what the action is a little bit better. Uh, he's going to go ahead and repair up the damage that had been done to these wraiths themselves. Uh, he is researching Cloak, so the Cloak is almost done at this point in time. That will allow him to use Scan to pick up any observers and then wreak havoc uh, with a bunch of Cloaked uh, units that Wizard would be unable to fight against. And they've been building up energy this entire time since he's had the, the Wraith army for a while now. So they'll be able to stay in that Cloak state for a significant portion of their uh, lifespan. So uh, Yosh has had his floating command center uh, expansion done. And Wizard finally has a shuttle get a expansion up here on the Northern Island. It looks like uh, Yosh is going to find this relatively quickly though. Uh, having a Wraith flow fly right almost into, into a position to see this. I think he's just outside the range at the moment. I can uh, see if I can verify that real quick. Uh, nope, he doesn't quite see the expansion just yet. But he will go ahead and pick off that shuttle. Which will limit uh, Wizard's mobility again and ability to drop DTs or get probes onto his newly formed island expansion. And here comes the cloak coming into play. There's no observers in sight. So he can just simply cloak any race that get low and ensure that this expansion isn't going to have a chance to formulate or uh, get off the ground at all. Uh, meanwhile, he has his own expansion up and running, only match saturating one side of it as the other side of the minerals is quite far away. Uh, is building a few uh, marines for defense and just getting some gas out of the refinery. And a floating engineering bay at the top. Uh, so for the players, again, uh, I'll go over uh, a little bit more uh, while we wait for more to happen, as it doesn't look like much is going to happen at the current time. 
Uh, so again, uh, Yoshi top player from Canada, very high APM, although in this game only playing 161, likely due to the fact there's less to do on an island map in the early game. And Wizard uh, would later qualify again for WCUSA 2002, and playing with an average APM of 144 from the replays, but in this game only playing with 132. Uh, Wizard right now uh, starting to um, stack up those minerals a bit too high at uh, 700 I could sure to spend them on and uh, Yosh himself also at 900 minerals so neither player being that efficient in their uh, spending at the moment. It looks like there is a dropship coming around so even though uh, Wizard tries to hold his base here uh, that dropship is going to be quite deadly since there's only a single uh, shuttle that he has to transport units across with. Or maybe he's just going to uh, siege from the outside. One thing you can do is uh, try to siege up a tank here to attack buildings on the outside of the island and uh, kind of use that to kind of push forward and start dropping things on the uh, edge of the island here. Uh, this happened to live, by the way, just 141 HP, so he almost got it down, but Wizard just did save it in time, realizing that the Wraith attack power was quite low, not able to finish it off before that would die. And just flying some Dragoons into here, that has not going to end that well for them. And these Marines should likely be able to clear these up along with the SCVs helping out. Uh, so I do want to stress for the chat, so uh, the cheating that he did in Poker TSL, from what I read, is about abusing. I don't think it was map hack. Um, and from what I said here, again, I don't know if there was any um, particular cheating itself that actually did occur, as there is no way to actually tell. And I just know that uh, he had done that uh, abuse in Poker Shot in TSL. Um, and this game looks like it's pretty much one-sided. Uh, he is going to go ahead and um, finish off uh, his expansions and basically expand upon his winning position. So uh, Yosh uh, has this middle island pretty much locked down. Uh, he has a engineering bay that sees the attempt to expand up here, which he's likely going to shut down as well. Um, and he has uh, his established island uh, to the north and to the uh, east of his main base and setting up another one uh, another expansion on another small island to help ensure that um, he just keeps pulling further and further ahead So Wizard looks like he is going to go ahead and establish this island for the time being. It's a lot of uh, land to try to defend against. Um, it's also worth noting that he has 90 food compared to... Uh, actually, Yosh only has 93. That's kind of surprising, considering how far away ahead he is in bases. I would have expected that to be more. Uh, in terms of upgrades, uh, it looks like it is uh, only um, a single damage upgrade for a wizard at the moment, going for plus two. Uh, Yosh has nothing for his air units, uh, for his ground units, which he... Ooh, wizard did a drop of an Archon over here and two Zealots, which is actually pretty effective as this island did not have any defenses. And you can... Um, you know, he picks up those SCVs with that dropship and is just going to escape with them and move over the command center to the island now, to another island. Uh, Yosh has a bunch of stacked uh, dropships here, which I assume that he's going to be getting ready for a drop with. And it looks like his ground units are uh, plus one damage. Uh, 
Uh, Wizard is almost done mining out his main base. Maybe uh, 400 minerals in total here as this Doom Drop looks like it's going to be putting a lot of pressure on the main base itself. Uh, so Yosh is saying, I'm not going to worry about trying to fight you over your expansions right now. I know you have nothing defending your main base because you put everything at your expansions. I'm just going to take out the main base itself. ET is not going to be able to stop it. A uh, few forces have arrived to try to push this uh, attack force back, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough to hold off. Those Dragoons were not long for this world. They should ride home to their families. Uh, so the gateways are going down. Uh, he was going for air weapons uh, because of the fact he is starting to build up some star ports. Uh, at this point, with his main base lost, and also for just a natural transition, you try to go for carriers uh, on island maps because they're very much mobile and don't have the uh, disadvantage of not being able to uh, go over water. And it's looking more and more like this main base is going to be mopped up. So um, that's one less base for Wizard, although he was done mining all the minerals out of it. So again, uh, for those anybody who joined us later on, this is the uh, CompUSA $20,000 uh, game fix uh, tournament that happened. There was a ladder phase of it uh, that these games are mostly from. Uh, where a bunch of uh, United States players would compete in to try to qualify for the top 64 bracket for a shot at the $20,000 prize pool. And this was held 15 years ago in 2002, really old school. Um, it, it was mentioned in the 1.09 patch notes. Uh, overall, it was quite a big deal at the time for anybody who was uh, interested in the uh, North American programming scene. So it looks like uh, Wizard is starting to try to build up some carriers. Um, he's also trying to take this uh, island expansion that he had previously attacked. Uh, trying to get these uh, air weapons upgraded now at, at this new base. And trying to basically sneak his way back into this game. So in other words, uh, siege tanks are not useful against carriers. So basically all this siege tank food that uh, Yosh would have would not be effective against the carrier switch. Uh, with only the Goliath and the Rays that he has stopped building, uh, able to do much against that uh, carrier army that was trying to get out now. You'll also notice something else a bit unusual, which we'll also see in more games as they go along. Uh, no Protoss player at this time would ever use Arbiters. Arbiters were considered a junk unit. Uh, Stasis especially was considered to be pretty underwhelming. Uh, so it was very rare to ever see a single Protoss player uh, uh, try to use a um, Arbiter in a game that mattered. And you can also see one of the other advantages disadvantages of an island map here is that Yosh can just simply siege up on other islands and start attacking into uh, Wizard's base. So that army is not useful in terms of a direct uh, confrontation against these characters, but it is still useful for building up for destroying buildings. And um, they're doing a very good job about that. This uh, Stargate is uh, not going to be very useful to Wizard any longer. Uh, Wizard does have a base here, but there's no probes at it. Uh, just simply some wasted re resources at the moment, and a single probe just chilling. And a few probes just hanging out at his main base. And the carrier army all gathering in the upper right. His hope, his dreams of winning this game are being put into these carriers. So this uh, single siege tank, despite being quite a screen full away, is just barely able to hit this assimilator uh, from that position. It will soon uh, restrict uh, Wizard's access to gas even more. Uh, it looks like there were some dropships that were headed up there, but decided to head back home after seeing that this island was already occupied. As from all the SCVs that were in one of them, he was anticipating uh, not to find so much resistance there. So he's just going to siege up on the outside and do what he's doing to Wizard's other base and start just attacking it from the sides. So that carrier fleet 
is somewhere. There it is. I found there was more than one carrier there, but there's multiple. So that carrier fleet has arrived. Uh, it looks like it is four carriers at the moment. New carrier has arrived. Uh, so basically, Wizard is going to be trying to use these carriers to get himself back into the game. Uh, using the sudden switch the carriers out of any type of ground army uh, to hopefully be able to catch uh, Yosh unaware and uh, take him out of this. Uh, start kicking him out of all these expansions that he's been able to get unchallenged so far. Uh, Yosh, meanwhile, is going to go ahead and decide I'm just going to drop on this island now. You have really nothing left. Uh, so even though your carriers can destroy my bases, I still have a ground army that can be dropped and destroy your base. Uh, apparently, the SCBs have been recruited to fight as well. Um, they're going to see some action. Oh, and uh, yeah. Yosh had been using the star ports from the beginning game uh, to make sure that he had been building a way to counter the carriers. And you notice that there is no observers because Wizard's uh, main base that was able to build observers was destroyed already. And these wraiths are able to clean up that uh, force relatively easily. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was uh, Yosh versus Wizard at the time. Uh, both of them playing under Smurf names on Dire Straits. So game six was also a voting poll. So um, there will be a five minute break before uh, that game as well to allow any last minute votes. Uh, that game is options between uh, day nine or tasteless versus myself. Uh, so go ahead and vote on your favorite uh, plot brother um, and decide whether or not uh, which one of them